The biggest of rideshare platforms have been in a race to push beyond core transportation and create a dominant super app that offers a range of services, but COVID-19 has quickly forced them to reevaluate what that revenue-generating lineup will look like. Uber's deal to acquire Postmates for $2.65 billion in stock shows how app-based food delivery has become an even more critical business focus in the coronavirus era as demand for core ride-sharing has plunged. In the first quarter, Uber's rides business bookings were down 80% year-over-year, while Uber Eats food delivery bookings were up more than 50%. But it's not just Uber or a U.S. market dynamic. Asia's rideshare leaders are also making changes to reflect a changed world. Indonesia's Gojek, valued at $12.5 billion, is trimming its staff and dropping a couple of offerings that had contributed to its ambitions of being known as a global super app. The company, which started as a dispatch service for motorcycle taxis, cut 9% of its staff and is now focused on transportation, payments and food delivery as keys to post-pandemic recovery. Gojek's super app strategy, offering up to 20 services within a single app, has been praised for creating stickiness, encouraging consumers to stay with the company for a range of services and that is a major evolution from the dispatch service for motorcycle taxi drivers, known as Ojex, for which the company was started. The two-wheeled taxis are the most efficient way to get through the dense traffic jams in Indonesia's cities. But drivers worked mostly in the informal economy, were viewed as unreliable and their mode of transportation was seen as a last resort. Founders Nadia Makarim, Andre Solistio and Kevin Aluwi decided they could better connect the motor taxi drivers and customers. The secret sauce that started the company was the trust that these people were honest, hard-working people who simply did not have the right opportunities, said Aluwi, co-CEO of Gojek. In 2015, Gojek launched its first app for transportation but as customers asked drivers to do more, the range of services the company offered began to expand. Its 20 services in Indonesia include GoBox, a parcel delivery service, GoCar, a private car service, GoFood, GoShop, and GoPay, among others, targeting what Andre Solistio, Gojek co-CEO, says is the opportunity to removes life's daily friction. By its own estimate, the Asian unicorn handled $9.5 billion in transactions in 2018, the latest year for which full data is available, and serves 2 million taxi drivers and 400,000 merchant partners through its super app. It has raised over $6 billion from investors including Visa, Google, Facebook, and PayPal and ranked no. 10 on the 2020 CNBC Disruptor 50 list. But in announcing cutbacks, Gojek said it was pulling back on at least a few services, dropping GoLife, its massage-on-demand service, and GoFood festivals, which was tied to physical food events.